Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Diecast Emporium. In this video, I have the privilege of reviewing the Kentland Volunteer Fire Department Tower Ladder 33. Only 350 of these models were ever made. In each model, there's 510 handcrafted individual parts. This model is designed so a customer sees something different every time they look at the machine. And 18 months of development went into making Tower 33 a museum grade model. So some background information on the Kentland Volunteer Fire Department. It was founded in 1951. It covers a large response area with a first due area of 19 square miles and a box alarm area of 52.2 square miles. The history of the Kentland Tower 33 ladder truck. It was originally a surplus FDNY rig that they bought from an auction. It would go on to serve 15 years of service. The replacement, which is what you see in front of you, went into service on October 18th, 2011. So just like any other fire replicas model, this piece is clean, pristine, and perfect. Now, it's not meant for those of you who don't know or are not familiar with fire replicas. This is not a toy. This is not meant to be purchased for your, um, for your child to play with or to be, you know, posed in a diorama or what you, you know, what you have. This simply is a scale model designed to be left in its glass display case and just admired. That's the, that's simply what it does. And every time you look at this machine, you're going to find something different. The outriggers look great. There's two right in front of the, well, there's one on each side. But there's, if we're looking just at this side, there's one right behind the first tandem wheel. Then you have the main one, which is right here. This would come down as well to support the truck. And then you have one of these up front as well. This is your tower ladder mechanism, and the advantage that tower ladders have over some other equipment is that you can spray up here a lot of water down onto a fire, and in addition you have room enough to go up and bring somebody down securely in the basket instead of just having a rear mount ladder truck. So quickly taking a quick look at it, here is the top, which looks absolutely amazing. There's your tower ladder, or bucket. As you can see, there's a nozzle at the end. Moving it to the rear. There we go. It has the orange chevron graphics that most fire departments today are required to have, as well as a license plate and other details, such as the Seagrave logo at the top of your screen where the, the nozzle is, and some fantastic lights, as well as some curb markers, which is really cool. This side's pretty much the same, with the, extent, with the exception of the breast cancer awareness sticker up in the window, and... Um, a little bit more on the detail side of things. So, and the last angle, which would be the front. It's got a nice 33 on it for truck 33. And here's what I was mentioning with the two stabilizers right here. And... You have obviously your horn, your Seagrave logo, your mirrors. Beautifully, beautifully replicated truck. So if you're into um, high-end fire equipment, especially in the 1 to 50 scale, there it you cannot beat fire replicas. There's no competition out there that can even come close. Um, so make sure to visit firereplicas.com. Look around, see what you like, and they always have a, a nice blog of things that they're working on and models that just come out and things of that sort. So until next time, everybody, be safe, take care, and we'll see you soon.